In this video, I'm going to prove that uh, the derivative of sine x is equal to cosine x. Um, to do this, we're going to use uh, this uh, definition here, which is the limit definition of the derivative or the derivative from first principles. We're also going to use uh, this result here, which is uh, uh, one of the fundamental um, uh, limits uh, results of uh, trigonometry uh, we have uh, derived this one in a video entitled uh, limits of trigonometric functions uh, we're just going to post the link uh, you can check it out here okay um, so um, the derivative then of sine x uh, is going to be so d dx of uh, sine x is going to be equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of uh, sine x plus h minus sine x all divided by h. Then what we're going to do is uh, we are going to expand sine x plus h using the uh, addition formula for sine so that means uh, we are going to have uh, sine x cos h plus sine h cos x and then minus that uh, sine x that we had already and then we are going to regroup um, uh, things here yeah, we're actually going to factorize so we can see that we've got sine x here and sine x there. So we're going to bring those terms together and factor out sine. So um, if we do that, so we're going to have sine x here called sine h minus 1. Okay, so that's uh, this term here. And then... Um, using the distributive property uh, of a division we can bring the h there and then this other term here we're going to write as sine h over h times cosine x okay we're running out of space um so this term here is uh, the same uh, term as this one. So straight away we can see that uh, this term is going to go to 1 as h goes to 0. Um, this one actually is the other term, is the other result of uh, fundamental limits of um, trigonometry. This one is... Um, this term here goes to zero as h goes to zero but we're going to uh, use uh, this result to show that here so um what we can do now we're going to write this as a limit as h goes to zero uh, sine x um, cosine h minus one all over h then plus uh, limit as h goes to 0 sine h over h times cosine x then we are saying that um, as h goes to 0 the limit of this is going to be 1 and uh, this one remains cosine because it does not depend on h. So what's going to happen is we are going to have 1 times cosine uh, from this term here. And then this one, I am going to rewrite the numerator in terms of um, sine so just uh, on the side here we know that cosine 2h is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared h 
What this means is that cosine h, therefore, is 1 minus 2 sine squared h over 2. Then, if we take the 1 to the left-hand side, so cosine h minus 1 is negative 2 sine squared h over 2. So, we're going to uh, take this and uh, plug it into that numerator there. So, our expression is now going to be plus the limit as h goes to 0 sine x, which is this one then um, negative 2 sine squared h over 2 divided by h and then we are going to redistribute this so we have got cosine here already um, what we are going to do in the term we've got sine x so here if we bring we bring the 2 down into the denominator, then it becomes h over 2. So we're going to have sine h over 2 all over h over 2. So, But that's just one of the sine terms here. We've got two of them because it's sine squared. And then the other one is just going to be negative 2 sine h over 2 this side okay so to round this off now uh, as h goes to zero this term remains sine x because it doesn't depend on h this one goes to one because it's the same form as uh, this uh, and uh, this one as uh, h goes to zero goes to zero as well so that means um, finally we are going to have cosine x plus sine x times 1 which is this one and then times 0 um, so that means we have uh, cosine x uh, which is uh, the required uh, result so there you go that's the uh, proof uh, of uh, derivative of sine x is equal to cosine x thanks for watching the video uh, please do subscribe um, so that you can get notified whenever i post new stuff do comment at the bottom or share this with uh, friends that you know need this type of material thank you